Hey everybody, I have two lights. One is a standard um, xenon bulb and it blew up and I'm going to show you in a minute. This one is the new one I got. It's LED. So I'm going to try the LED. But what I'll do real quick is I'll show you. Let me put this down here. I'm going to show you this one. This is the one that came off of my, um, let me see if, uh, <laughs> hold on. Still getting used to this sucker. Let me see if I can do that. No, nope. I don't think it's going to let me. So anyway, this is the Xenon Clear that I had on top of my plane. And it went out. Now there's severe vibration up there and I'm thinking the vibration was the cause. So let me show you what happened. Hear it? That's the stuff that came out of my light. And hold on. I, um, yeah. That's part of the xenon bulb rolling off. And yeah, that's what's left of the xenon bulb inside. I'm going to chuck this into the trash. I just wanted to show you before I chucked it into the trash. That's the inside of my light. The reason that I even took it apart was because it died. And my fuse was blowing. quick. I mean quickly. I put a brand new fuse in and put the master on and boom it blew so I don't know if you can tell because it's kinda of close I don't know if getting out here in the lights gonna help not really but it, what it did is it abrased basically it sanded the inside of the light the lens which is why I even took it apart because I, I noticed it getting cloudy and I'm like what the heck is that yeah, it blew up. It's done. So I talked to Kunzelman. Kunzelman said, yeah, vibration. So what I ended up doing, okay, this is where it's gonna go, right up here. And this is what's going in its place. I'm gonna put a spring up here so it'll be on a spring so any vibration that comes through the root tube will go through that spring and it'll be it's going to kind of look funky because it's going to be up here just kind of waving around but that's what i got to do in order for me to make the light survive and here's the switch that i put in but i, I need to finish wiring it because um, Obviously, I got to replace that other one. So that's what these were for. So what I'll do is I'll cut these off and put them on my LED. Now, real quick, I'll show you the LED. Let me put these guys away. Doing this one-handed. Sorry about the shaking. And this one. Oop. This one is my LED. Okay, so I don't know if you can see them in there, but there's the LEDs. There's three LEDs, and I'm not sure what the um, strobe pattern's like, but I'm going to check it real quick. Let me dash over here and get my little dependable ever start from Walmart that I can do my testing with. Let's put this down. And I will get these guys going for you. Okay. Let's see what she looks like. So that's the, the strobe pattern. Actually, I like it. 
but it's it's different from the side it's not as bright it's more bright dead on but it works so that's the one I'm going to try as my new one we'll put the LED this one's a little taller too so it's going to go up here on a spring and the shock hopefully won't bug it so that's what's going on and if you wonder why I haven't been around or on for several weeks yeah it's mostly because the little gremlins and I had to wait to get this shipped out from aircraft spruce I bought the stuff from aircraft spruce and so that took about seven days to get here and plus I did some stuff around my house and I don't know if any of you guys got ongoing back issues you know like back pain but I messed up my back I don't know 20 years ago and it still flares up so I did some sink re replacements in my master bathroom at my house and la 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 yeah what happens yeah mm -hmm. I, I tweaked my back out and the next day I was hurting because I'm not used to laying on it laying on my back and all that crap you know and then having to deal, uh, deal with the uh, porcelain sinks the uh, I think they're porcelain ceramic so the last ones I had were steel coated enamel or no enamel coated steel yeah and man they rusted out bad especially when my son uses the the sink for a bathtub or washing dishes or washing whatever the heck he's washing but he fills the basins up if there's a crack in that enamel it, it gets in and it gets into that steel and just rust the hell out of it so that's what I had to do I had to replace the uh, two bathroom sinks because my son's using my son's the last one at home before the nest is empty and he's been using the master bathroom upstairs uh, basically all by himself and there's two sinks and you know it's a big vanity all that thing so and now he's got it all to himself so I guess when he dirties one he moves over to the other one which is what he did and so anyway long story short we're gonna we're gonna get this uh, light mounted up and I'm still having battery issues I don't know why my my battery's being drawn down matter of fact I'm gonna check it real quick it's 12.6 volts let me see if you can see that 12.6 I don't even know if, if that's clear but um, <clears throat> it should be more it should be like 13.4 so I bought the battery from Aerolite 103 Dennis Carley and he told me that these lithium polymer I think that's a lithium polymer battery or lithium ion I'm not sure but uh, he said that they would last five years you wouldn't need to charge them and la 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 so I bought this thing I think it was 250 bucks it was quite a quite an expensive battery the one that I just showed you on the table over there was 65 bucks from Walmart and works just fine there is about a probably a two pound difference in weight but it would have worked just fine for 65 bucks I didn't have to buy a $250 battery not mad at Dennis not bad, mad that the uh, lithium technology is so expensive but darn you know 250 bucks I think it was plus 250 plus I, I, I don't recall but in any case that's what I'm going to be dealing with I got to figure out my electrical issue with the top strobe I got to test the circuit see if there's a good flow of current going to the light and double check my fuse make sure my switch works and I'm going to keep all I'm going to probably switch the lower strobe as well just to keep them off the master because when I turn the master on the master turning the master is not the problem the problem is starting and when when you go to hit the starter the ignition switch it, it, it uh, energizes the starter it energizes the starter motor um, energizes the starter solenoid I'm sorry blah, 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 blah. It energizes the starter solenoid, which, it, which in turn energizes the starter motor. And right after it catches, right after the engine actually fires, 
and you release the key, what happens is the field collapses, sends a spike through the system, and I have a diode in it that's supposed to take care of that, but regardless, Kunzelman said, switch the light. Don't have it on the, ma the master because this is why, because there's issues. So I'm gonna make sure that the lower strobe is switched as well. It's not working, but it's the, the fuse isn't blown, so <laughs> I don't know. Gremlins, gremlins. So for right now, I'm gonna let you guys go. I just wanted to give you guys an update and let you know what's going on with her. And uh, yeah, well that's so far what's going on with her. Oh, let me show you what I got a couple of, got a couple of little accessories. Everybody knows that 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 is from the, uh, I believe it's the P-40 Warhawk, which, which was the uh, uh, Flying Tiger, okay? Well, what this is to me is a shark. Reminds me of a shark, shark teeth, shark eye. So that's what it's supposed to be, but they used them on the uh, P-40s and called them the uh, Flying Tigers. But they, they had a different, I don't know, a different look to them. But in any case, let me, I'll show you what I got. I got a shark. So I think it's a great white. And I got one to put on the other side. But basically, that's what I'm going to call my little, my little bird is the flying shark. Now, some of you guys may think that's lame. <laughs> Sorry, haters. That's what I'm going to call it, the flying shark. So I'm going to put a little shark on one side, a little shark on the other side. And the flying shark, once it's flying, will be the flying shark. I don't know what else to call it. You know, I'm not going to name it a girl's name. I have my wife, of course, but I'm not going to call it my wife's name. And I just don't feel like naming it a girl's name or naming it something else. And since I already got the, the flying tiger's shark teeth on it, I'm just going to call it a flying shark. And that's what it's going to be. So... Until next time, we will be back. So just hang in. See ya.